Hello everyone. Today in the human reproduction chapter we will study about the fertilization process. These are the pictures of the male and the female gamete. Today we are going to discuss about the fertilization process. That is the fusion of male and the female gamete. Let us study what is the fertilization fertilization it is the fusion of haploid gametes egg and the sperm the fusion of egg and the sperm it gives a diploid zygote structure in case of the human being the fertilization process it is internal that is it is taking place inside the female body particularly in the region of the ampulla which is the part of uterine tube the fusion of the gamete it gives new individual after the formation of the zygote further it develop into the embryo this all the process they are taking place inside the uterus that is mother's womb in typical 28 days menstrual cycle on the 14th day ovulation takes place during the ovulation the secondary oocyte it is released from the ovary and it comes into the fallopian tube or the uterine tube the egg it is collected by the fimbri process inside the uterine tube cilia structure is present the help to direct the egg into the ampulla look at the figure ampulla it is the next part of uterine tube here the secondary oocyte it reach after the ovulation which is required about 12 to 24 hours secondary oocyte it is now waiting for the male gamete for the process for the process of fertilization during the sexual act or during the coitus process the male it introduce its sperm into the female tract the process it is called as insemination look at the figure here we can see the path of the sperm through which the sperm it reach to the ampulla region where the egg it is waiting for the sperm for the process of fertilization let us focus on the fertilization process in fertilization process the various steps are involved let us study about all these steps the first step in the fertilization process is the capacitation of the sperm here in this process the sperms are prepared for the process of fertilization as the entered sperm in the female tract they are the poor they are unable to fertilize so their capacity it is increased in this process so the term is used sperm capacitation let us study about the sperm capacitation and why it is important one the sperm which is produced in epididymis it is coated with some protein and the carbohydrates when the sperm it reach into the ejaculatory duct it also get coated with some more proteins this protein coat it is present around the head part of the sperm when the sperm it enters into female genital tract that time this outermost coating of the protein it is removed and the process it is called capacitation look at the figure you can understand how this protein coat it is removed in the process of capacitation because of the capacitation the sperm becomes hyperactive it begins to move rapidly into the female genital tract it start moving upwardly from vagina to uterus the prostaglandins and the vestibular secretion it also activate the sperm for its motility the speed of the sperm it is about 1.5 to 3 mm 
per minute. Sperm now it reached to the ampulla of the uterine tube by its own swimming as well as because of the contraction process of the uterus and the fallopian tube. The sperm is active for about 24 to 48 hours in ampulla region. During the insemination process, the millions of the sperms it is introduced in the female tract. But the sperm which is highly active and the fast, it will reach to the zona pellucida of the secondary oocyte. You know, the zona pellucida, it is the layer which is present around the plasma membrane of secondary oocyte. Zona pellucida, it has the receptors. These receptors, they are present in the form of carbohydrate group. Sperm, it binds with this group. And it forms the complex. Student, look at these animated pictures to understand the acrosome reaction. Acrosome, it is located around the anterior part of the sperm head. Acrosome, it is a huge modified lysosome that is packed with the lysosomal enzymes. It provides the enzymatic drill. It helps to separate and dissolve the corona radiata cells, which is present around the secondary oocyte, arrested in metaphase 2. To reach the zona pellucida, the sperm has to drill this path. The fusion of the sperm or the acrosomal membrane with the zona pellucida it is the exocytosis process as the acrosomal enzyme they are released out to dissolve the radiator cells as well as the point of attachment of the zona pellucida membrane. Once the sperm penetrates the zona pellucida, it binds and infuse with the plasma membrane or the white line membrane of the oocyte. The zona pellucida is having a protein which acts as a receptor. They are the fertilizing. On the surface of the sperm also they have the plasma membrane proteins. Those are called anti-fertilizing. While binding, the reaction it is taking place between fertilizing and the anti-fertilizing protein receptors. This reaction, it is a species specific. That means this protein code for a particular species, it is a fix. So, the sperm of one species will not able to bind with the egg or the oocyte of the another species. And that's why the process, it is also termed as compatibility process. Let us study about the egg activation. It is done after the binding of the sperm to zona pellucida. You know students, prior to fertilization, egg it is arrested in metaphase 2 of meiotic division. Because of binding of the sperm with the egg, rapidly the number of metabolic as well as the physical changes they are going on in the egg. The intracellular concentration of the calcium, it is increased. Calcium from the extracellular fluid, it enters into the egg. And that's why the concentration of the calcium inside the egg, it is increased. As the sperm gate bind with the zona pellucida, the secondary meio meiotic division, it get complete. When this happened, here the massive exocytosis of cortical granules, it shortly begins after the fusion of the sperm with the zona pellucida. The cortical granules, it is present in the ooplasm. Look at the figure. These granules, it contains the enzyme proteoses. 
the decay diffused from the plasma membrane of the egg into the zona pellucida by process of exocytosis. The protease enzymes of the cortical granules make the zona pellucida layer hard and it avoids the entry of next sperm. Because of that, the polysperm may it is avoided and it is maintained the diploid condition of the organism. Look at the animated picture. Here the two more sperms they are trying to attach with the zona pellucida but they are failed because the sperm receptors of the zona pellucida they are get destroyed after entry of the first sperm. So these sperms are not allowed to enter into the egg and that's why here the diploid condition of the organism it is maintained. So the reaction of the cortical enzyme it is very important to maintain the diploid condition of the organism to maintain the species. After the entry of the sperm head into the ooplasm, the centriole is get added into the ooplasm, which is absent in the ooplasm, and that's why the secondary oocyte it completes its metaphase two phase, the meiosis process it is get complete, and now the sperm chromosomes as well as the female gamete chromosomes they get fused together the pairing of the chromosome it is seen after the pairing the chromosome they get covered with the capsule and the formation of the zygote it is complete before the fertilization the female gamete it is present in the form of secondary oocyte along with its first polar body that is in the metaphase 2 condition once the sperm is entered into the ooplasm, it adds the proximal centriole and because of that the meiosis too it's further it get continued. So the meiosis process it get complete. First polar body it also divide and it gives the two more polar bodies and the secondary oocyte it is converted into a fertile female gamete that is the ohm. The deployed number of the chromosome it is also it is kept constant because of formation of the fertilization membrane here the zona pellucida it turns into the fertilization membrane when the cortical granules it react with the zona pellucida the zona pellucida it becomes the heart it becomes the concrete layer and it does not allow the entry of next sperm and that's why the 2n number it is kept constant because of the fertilization, the variation it is also formed. And in this process, the sex is also it is determined. Here, in case of male, there are the two types of the sperms are produced. X type and the Y type. The which type of the sperm, it is fertilizing the female gamete on which the sex of the individual, it depends. So the fertilization process, it determines the sex of the child. If the X type of the sperm, it is a fertilizing, the individual will be produced or the offspring which will be produced, it will be the XX that is the female in human. And if the Y type of the sperm, if get fertilized the egg, then the combination will be XY and that will be the a boy or the male child. Student, with the help of this diagram, we can summarize the fusion of male gamete with the female gamete, that is the process of fertilization and its various steps, which leads into the formation of zygote. Hope you understood today's topic. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos.